is Christine reporting from Battle Cry at WPI with the amazing team 1073 coming in off of their Curie win this year at the Detroit Championship. So we're excited to take a look at their robot for behind the bumper. So why don't we go take a look? So Nathaniel is going to talk to us about your drivetrain. So what makes this drivetrain so epic that, you know, beat 1114 and 2056? So um, first things first, we right from the start knew we wanted to be at least able to push pretty much anything that came in our way. That was right from the bat a design um, piece that we knew we needed to have. Um, the way the game seemed right off the bat, we kind of knew we needed something that could do what we do. Mm -hmm. So we ended up with a um, West Coast based six sim. Um, 10 wheel pneumatic. Um, they're six, they're six uh, pneumatic wheels. And then we also um, did chain drive because, well, if you're going to put that much power down and have that much torque and grip, you got to have something that can hold that. And chain was the right way for us. Um, from there, it, it was really more control based that actually gets us to what we do. Um, we use actually an integrated trigger system that pretty much allows me to perfectly put the amount of power I need to down without slipping the wheels and that in the end actually makes us more efficient because we're not running full power all the time. Um, for us that's worked really really well. It, it means we can um, burp the throttle a little bit and actually get robots moving that normally wouldn't budge and um, I mean the other the other big design piece which wasn't intentional at first, but then kind of we left it on was um, our big bumper cutouts. At, at, for all of our mechanisms are designed to collect from the floor, and that just ended up um, working in our favor. Awesome. So why don't we get a closer look at the robot? So in addition, when we are playing offense, such as in the qualification rounds, we do have a few unique mechanisms that make us slightly more effective. For example, we have a brown pickup for the hatch panels because we actually saw that in 2017 the more effective robots were the ones that could pick the gears up off the ground so we anticipated several hatch panels ending up on the ground in any given match so that's why we designed to be able to pick up those hatch panels that are dropped potentially right in front of where we need to score them um, and in addition we when we are climbing, we uh, go from the first level of the hub to the second and then to the third. That way, if we miss our third level climb, instead of only getting three points for our first level climb, we still get the six for the second level. That's really smart. So I was told that you're not only the human player, but you played a pretty critical role in um, your alliance on Curie. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So one of the things with playing defense that most people don't realize is that it's not just the driver. Every single person on that drive team has a job while we're playing defense. So obviously our driver is driving, our coach is telling him where to go and which spots to focus on. And as a human player, while normally I wouldn't have much to do, I'm actually watching every single ref on that field and counting down with them as they start to call penalties on us. That way we can back away at the last second and still not get that penalty. So that's pretty amazing. So we have Justin over here who's the um, drive team manager. So did you guys discuss that kind of um, you know, using your teammates to their like full potential before starting like a limbs on carry. Uh, that wasn't something we really talked about. Uh, it was kind of come up with, you know, that's what our coach thought about mm -hmm. uh, during a match, and that was just it stuck with us because it worked so well. Mm -hmm. You know, we knew that um, our alliance partners were going to use their human players for their feeder stations, so it wasn't worth, you know, having our human player uh, do that. But having her watch the refs and make sure uh, that we weren't getting penalty points that really helped us yeah that's super critical and we have your technician over here so what was your experience like this year with you know such a robust drivetrain um, and you know components that were kind of outside of the frame perimeter especially in a district like new england where defense is just like you know in our blood well at our first event uh after in matches, I was kind of there in queue if anything ever broke. Mm -hmm. But after that, we made a couple fixes during Unbag, and then it was really just a durable robot. Like last year, um, our other robot broke almost every match. This one, it would come back, and all we'd have to do is change the bumpers. Mm -hmm. um, the wiring's not amazing on this one. This is actually our second bot. We make two, so we can practice with one um, when the robot's in the bag. Mm -hmm. So our actual one, the wiring's much nicer, and uh, this year, our components are really squished together and compact, which I really like that because last year, Belly Pant took really uh, 
really spread out, mm. but not in a good way. Mm. Uh, it was hard to find where things are. If anything does break, which it doesn't really, mm. um, it's really easy to identify that and fix it. So that's pretty awesome. Well, congratulations on an amazing season, and hopefully you guys will keep it up in the off season. So what type of stuff do you have to look forward to after this event? So um, next we're actually headed to IRI. Um, we're going to be um, playing against all the teams we fought at, at pretty much in Curie as well as a lot of other teams. Um, we've never been before, so this will be our first IRI and we're really, really pumped for that. Um, it's, it's very, very exciting to finally be able to go and go with not just a bot, but a really impressive bot, bot that we've put a lot of effort and passion into. Um, we're really, really happy um, to be able to take such a bot, a drive team that's worked so well together and it, it, it's something special, you know. Well, congratulations and best of luck at IRI. Make sure you eat lots of corn. Big potatoes are also really good. And for first updates now, behind the bumpers, I'm Christine and this is 1073 at Battlecry. Thanks for tuning in. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.